Okay? Another one. An electric current is given by the expression I of T equal to 75 sine 60 pi T, where I is in ampere and T is in seconds. What is the total charge carried by the current from T equal to 0 to T equal to 1 over 120th of a second? Well, this is the type of current we actually get at home and in the office. In fact, this projector bulb which shines light on me and onto the board is powered by a current given by this expression. 75 sine 60 pi t. Now, what is the total charge carried by the current from t equal to 0 to t equal to 1 over 120th of a second in a very short interval of time. Well, you know that I equal to dq over dt and that is equal to 75 sine 60 pi t. And we need to find the amount of charge that passes through the conductor during this time interval. What do we do? Well, we find dq, dq equal to 75 sine 60 pi t dt. And we now integrate the dq from t equal to 0 to t equal to 1 over 120. And that will give you the total charge q. Total charge q is Integral 0 to 1 over 120, 75 sine 60 pi t dt. Can you do this integration without any trouble? Well, that will be, look at this. 75 is a constant. The integral of sine quantity is negative cos of the same quantity. And then... Divide that by the derivative of this quantity, 60 pi t. The derivative of 60 pi t is 60 pi. You know that uh, integral of sine ax is negative cos ax divided by a. Integral of sine 60 pi t is negative cos 60 pi t divided by 60 pi. And 75 is a constant. And uh, the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 1 over 120. Now we replace t by the upper limit and then minus. Replace t by 0 and that will give you this value. Can I leave it for you? Can you do that on your own? Well, let me show you how that happens. For the upper limit, when you replace t by 1 over 120, this quantity, I'm going to write that upper limit here. That will be negative 75 cos 60 pi t is 1 over 120. That is the upper limit minus negative 75 cos 60 pi times 0 over 60 pi. There is an over 60 pi there, over 60 pi. And if you look here in the first term, the 60 and 120 goes leaving a 2 on the denominator. So this will simplify to pi by 2. And tell me, what is cosine of pi by 2? Cosine of pi by 2 is 0. That's why our first term is 0. Minus, when the time is 0, 60 pi times 0 will be 0. What is cosine of 0? Cosine of 0 is 1. Therefore, this quantity is negative 75 divided by 60 pi. So, what we have, the value of this is 0 minus negative 75 divided by 60 pi. And of course, the two negatives become positive. 
and that will be 5 over 4 pi. The amount of charge that passed through that conductor during this time interval is 5 over 4 pi coulombs. I should have written that unit. Now, you must add that there. That is 5 over 4 pi. Well, I have it there. It is approximately 0.4 coulombs. Okay, another one. The current in a wire varies with time according to the relation I equal to 2t minus t squared. Calculate the amount of charge that passes through the conductor from t equal to 0 to t equal to 0.75 seconds. The same kind of problem. We have a D, dq over dt is i and i is given to be 2t minus t squared. Therefore dq equal to 2t minus t squared dt. And what do you do? Integrate this from t equal to 0 to t equal to 0.75. The total amount of charge that passes during that time interval is integral 0 to 0 0.75 2t minus t squared dt. Alright, tell me what is integral of 2t dt? Integral of t dt is t squared over 2. So the first term will be t squared minus integral t squared dt is t cubed over 3. So that will be t squared minus t cubed over 3, lower limit 0, the upper limit 0.75. So replace your t by 0.75 for the upper limit and replace your t by 0 for the lower limit. That means both these values will be 0 when t equal to 0. That means you can ignore the lower limit. Only the upper limit give you any value here. That will be 0.75 squared minus 0.75 to the power of 3 over 3. And that is approximately 0 0.42 coulombs. Okay.